Right, welcome back and back to you, Ambassador Jailan. And um, before we continue on with discussing very important files uh, with President Sisi, let me just give a, a, a small remark here about the very, very enormous and warm reception the President was greeted with. And uh, I guess that the French were very much appreciating such a visit. How did you read that? Um, let me tell you, share with you that uh, the, the press in France and uh, in Europe in general uh, have discussed the kind of reception that President El Sisi has received on his way to the Elysee meeting with uh, President Macron. And uh, they raised a lot of questions. I mean, this is the first time that we see a, uh, the president of a country being uh, in such an eloquent and elegant and, uh, and, and very extravagant way. So, uh, so, so I think this tells something. This should tell everybody and tell us something that there is some kind of a closer relationship and respect, mutual respect and appreciation between the two countries. Uh, let me talk about something else also, the body language between the two presidents in the, when they, they encounter each other at the front steps of, of the Elysee during their meeting, even during the press conference, which was a very extensive and a very deep and a very, uh, I think I enjoyed it very much in spite yes. of everything, I enjoyed it very much. So, so I think the body language in there. Look at the, body, look at the, the list of the high functioners that uh, uh, the, the, the president met from uh, uh, the prime minister, minister of defense, uh, minister of president foreign affairs, of, yeah. uh, finance and, uh, and economy, uh, the, 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 the mayor of Paris, the, the chairman of the Senate, because we have a new Senate just established, so it was time for us to establish this kind of uh, ex exchange uh, of uh, of relationship, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the, 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 the heads of the big French multinationals, even the Secretary General of the OECD, which is the Organization for Economic Development in, in, in Europe, even even this, because it has a seat in uh, in, 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 in France, then he met uh, with her. And let us not forget the cultural effect here. I mean, if somebody has a, a Egyptomania uh, in the world, it's the French, of course, and, and, and we know why. The Suez Canal, the, the, when the opening of the new Suez Canal, Francois Hollande came to attend, to, uh, to, uh, to attend, to attend that. Let us remember that uh, uh, the uh, UNESCO, the UN Organization for Culture and Science, has its seat in France. So all of these elements, if you put them together, you will see why we had there was this very large and eloquent and important and interesting reception of the president in there during his three very heavy, hectic three days visit to, to France. Uh, now you make me so confused whether to uh, continue on with this cultural aspect or return to hard uh, uh, issues like terrorism. But since we, we, we made it a little bit light, so let's speak about culture because Egypt with its civilization and France, the uh, queen of art. Yes, of course. I mean, I mean, um, 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 well, before the Suez Canal, even and uh, Ferdinand de Lesseps, uh, which we, which came up with the ideas. Of course, we paid a high toll, human toll, to 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 build that. But it is a French, Egyptian French uh, collaboration thing. Uh, 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 let us talk about Champollion and uh, and uh, and uh, the Rosetta Stone, yes. and he opened all the gates all the hidden secrets of all this beautiful civilization of ours. I mean, because it was because of a French gentleman. Uh, let us uh, talk about uh, um, uh, the Louvre, all, 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 all of the beautiful museums, all the beautiful pieces of, of Egyptian art in the whole world, and starting with the Louvre in, in there. So I, I think that culture is very, very important. And the president also made a little touch here in Paris, because he went and set the established the house of egypt in the university city in paris it's it's a place where egyptian scholars in france 
has uh, will be meeting their meeting place and showing of this so there is so much in terms of culture that now Egypt is trying to make so many museums for art for for Egyptian old art or whatever you find I mean the last findings in Egypt of so many sarcophagus of so many new things and I think that Egyptians will will enjoy and feel very proud when all of the pieces that will move from the Egyptian Museum in Tahrir Square all the way to Fustat and there is a beautiful parade I think it's a gorgeous yes. going to be a, a world event all these gorgeous pieces going making their way all the way from center Cairo to El Fustat so I mean there is so much we can work with them on culture because we are so much uh, uh, connected with that and when Francois uh, when Bonaparte came 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 to Egypt remember that he established I mean he looked at the Sphinx and whatever he is being told that I mean is told of accused of being doing but he stood there in awe of such a great monument so there is an Egyptomania a French Egyptomania yes however Napoleon did not like very much the nose of the well he, anyway. he thought <laughs> it was too proud <laughs> so yes <laughs> returning back to the visit and the heavy uh, files uh, that uh, that were there uh, and uh, terrorism terrorism because terrorism is inflicting not just Egypt but Africa at large in in big part of the Middle East so how far do you think that this was a main concern for this uh, visit and for President Sisi and uh, President Macron to discuss it is it was it was very much of the center of their interest because of the events that happened in France that made them rethink what 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 is really going on and uh, uh, I think extremism and fundamentalism have been very much into the heart of that visit and I think also there is a fear that all the insurgents that are leaving areas in northern uh, Turkey or uh, are there are being handled and recruited by by Turkey and the, th the thinking itself is going through some of the African countries bordering southern Libya and Sudan in the Sahara and the Sahel and we can see now that there is even in Nigeria there is some kind of an insurgency that is creating some kind of a problems we have seen that also terrorism in in Libya we have seen how some Egyptians of course I mean we have been able to 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 to, to, to take action against that but the idea of the rise of terrorism of fundamentalism of extremism of people who are there to disturb the stability the future and the security of the area be it the Mediterranean area or even the Sahel and Sahara area I think and of course France has a great interest in the African continent particularly the francophone countries so experience there is important because we have been fighting terrorism in the Sinai for 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 the last decade and so we we know how it is we are preaching against against it El Azhar is playing a role trying to modernize thinking the thinking about this and saying that this is not the real Islam because it is a duty it is our duty to infer to the world what is real Islam it is not it is not killing people or cutting their throats or just destroying their economies or going underground and disturbing the the, the, the peace and the future of people I think Africa including Egypt is a very young continent it's full of more or less more 60 60 percent of of the population of Africa is below 40 years old so the future is there you don't want to disturb this future and you want to enhance the economy you want to make a better future and a better Africa for all so I think cooperation in this regard will be very strong and we have a lot of experience to share with other countries in this regard cooperation cooperation with France and this is what is the exact and precise words of President Sisi particularly of what 
uh, he spoke about of promoting values of tolerance and moderation. Yeah. And uh, definitely the file of human rights, because that was relevant to that, or this is how the both files were... Uh, Connected. Uh, yes, very much indeed. Uh, how do you view how the two presidents tackled the issue of, uh, uh, of tolerance and acceptance, and at the same time the file of human rights? Um, I think this was a, uh, the discussion ar around these two issues, these two connected issues, uh, started with uh, some kind of a very, um, um, let us say, diplomatic approach, trying to take the lighter side of the discussion, mm. to put it to the public. And uh, I think uh, France speaks about, uh, uh, I mean, uh, um, freedom uh, of, of speech, uh, uh, importance of tolerance, uh, um, not really going on for extremism and so on. And I think uh, the President Sisi was um, very accurate, very smart and very decisive in what he said. He said, we are coming from a civilization that has been built on understanding and illumination for the world. And the, one of the oldest people and up front. We come from a religion of Islam, which is also speaking about tolerance mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and friendship and peace and security in society and respecting the, the, the one country, the in, one integral country. So this should not be in conflict with the idea of human rights because we are a country also respect, which respects human rights. We are trying to do that, but we are faced with waves and waves of extremism and fundamentalism that we have to stand mm -hmm. against. So I think that here comes the, the meeting point between the two presidents, even during the, the, the press conference. And I think it is going to become, and I think we, speak, we have to speak more about this, so that I think we have to bring this kind of idea of illumination, of tolerance and of acceptance of the other, which is embodied in Islam. The other is doing that, modernization of the speaking about it and opening the dialogue about this. Yeah. I think this is going to be, I think, one of the major issues that Egypt will have to undertake on over and above uh, its shoulders about with, the, with the other uh, uh, areas that we are talking about, with France and with Europe and with the world at large, actually, and also with the new U.S. administration. We'll see. We'll see about the new uh, U.S. administration. And yes, definitely, hopefully, uh, we're open to all the Absolutely. world. Uh, unfortunately, my time is out here and I have to end it here, but I really did enjoy this this conversation. Pleasure. Thank you very much. And very this kind. debate. Uh, uh, Ambassador Jailen Alam for Mr. Sim, for Mr. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, dear viewers, that was Mona Moselhi sitting here today on behalf of uh, Tagreet Hussain. Many thanks uh, for watching and uh, until next Sunday, it's goodbye.